Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. My name is Pam. Today I am taking you thrifting along with me to the Broad River Road Goodwill. And this Goodwill isn't as junky as some of the others that I've visited lately. So you'll actually be able to see some of the shelves. But before we get started, I would really love it if you would like this video, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. This helps my channel grow so I can bring you more fun content just like this. So now, go grab your coffee, go grab your tea, and let's go thrifting. Right off the bat, I found this Target piece. It's the Threshold brand. It looks like it's a utensil holder for the kitchen. And then I saw this box, it says Traditions. And I turned it over and saw that it was fine porcelain china. This was a five piece place setting and it was still in the box. Look at this cute little planter. It was made in China, so I had to leave that one behind. This piece has a vintage look. It's made out of plastic and on the bottom, the spelling is Joey and I don't know that brand. This is something that I think I should have picked up. It is a stainless steel wine or champagne chiller from France. It was a little rough around the edges, so I hemmed and hauled and I left it behind, but I think I should have picked it up. Have you ever watched Wallace and Gromit? It's a British claymation cartoon. I thought this pottery sculpture looked just like Wallace and Gromit. It was broken, so I had to leave it behind. This geometric piece caught my eye, but as I inspected it a little closer, I realized it was just a clear glass piece that somebody had painted. Look at the detail on this piece of Georgia marble. It's been sculpted into a school bus. It's really cute. Do you remember the trend of having your baby's shoes bronzed? It started around the 1930s, and I wanna know if you have a pair or if maybe yours were bronzed back in the day. This looks like someone's do-it-yourself vanity tray. I loved this brass wall sconce, but I only found one. They're always better if you can find them in pairs. This is one of my favorites. This is the Libby Duratuff Gibraltar Dusky Blue Water Glass. I had some of these in my booth and I've sold them all but one. And check out these plates. Aren't they fun? Thank you. 
Don't forget to check out the tools when you see them at your local Goodwill. I was also eyeing that Carolina Turvis tumbler right there to the side. I spotted this wicker mirror. I really liked it. I have one in my booth already that's more of an oval shape. This one was $8.99. That one was a little pricey for me. Then this dish caught my eye. It is so cute. This beautiful vintage planter. Look at that pink with gold rim. Mm, I loved it. Check out this sweet little wicker clamshell. What would you put in that if you had that at your home? Let me know down in the comments below. And next to that, I found this sweet little pattern that someone had taken and made into a picture that would be perfect in a sewing room. I noticed this vintage mug. It's of a soccer player. I thought it was so cute. I never played soccer. My child didn't play soccer. But for someone that does, this would be a fun mug to have. This was a piece of Avon, probably a powder jar. Do you have any of the Corning Spice of Life dishes? These were in great condition. I wish I would have been able to find the lids. I usually see the blue cornflower pattern, so this was nice to see in the stores. Look at these sweet little peach salt and pepper shakers. Did you know that even though Georgia is known for their peaches, that South Carolina averages more than three times the amount in pounds of peaches harvested than Georgia. We've got it going on here in South Carolina. And there is nothing better than my mama's peach cobbler. Isn't this the cutest mug? It is a Christmas mug, but I just thought it was adorable. These ceramic canisters for your herbs were made by Home Interiors. I couldn't remember if these were full or not. Oftentimes you'll find that people donate items and they are still full of the contents. Coca-Cola, it's the real thing. Y'all, Coke is my favorite drink. I love it, love it, love it. I found another canister set, but this one was really unique. It's on a Lazy Susan. I love a Lazy Susan. Unfortunately, the lids were missing with this set. That's too bad. This novelty glass, I think it came from either Costco or Sam's Club, I can't remember, but it's a fun glass for those football lovers. And this tea set was really nice. They had it all wrapped up and put together, which I liked because oftentimes you'll find the pieces scattered about the store. I feel like every time I go shopping at Goodwill, I find someone's farmhouse decor. I think farmhouse is fading away little by little. This bowl was made by the Edwin M. Knowles China Company. I like that it was a handled cereal bowl. Now this company is the same company that made the golden wheat pattern. You've seen that everywhere in Goodwills. I love a grab bag and look at that cute little turtle looking thing and that rock. I wonder what else is in this bag. It looks like some calico kittens and who knows. This caught my interest. What is this? Okay, this is one of those teak drawer organizers. You can put it in like a kitchen drawer to put your spices on or even your K-cups. 
I had to check this out on the top shelf. Sometimes the top shelves are hard to get to. I'm straining trying to reach this, but I do manage to find the price. It's a nice looking vase. I thought I would check out some of the artwork that they have in this Goodwill. Their art is neatly organized in this Goodwill. I love how they have like a special room for their artwork and their stacks are always organized. I'm now at the shelf with the items that are a little bit fancier or at least they have higher prices. I don't think there's anything extra special on this shelf, in my opinion. I found this beautiful blue bell. I couldn't tell much about it. I don't sell a lot of bells in my booth, so I left that one behind. Let me know down below if you know anything about that bell. Did I leave something behind that was valuable? These fans were just brought out and were on the floor about 10 seconds before someone ripped the tags off and got a great deal. This was a really nice jewelry box and I think if you cleaned it up and tried to resell it, you would get a pretty good price. I decided to buy the grab bag of goodies. The cozy kittens that were in the bag will probably go in an outside flea market. The shells in a bottle will go in my junk jar and then the bobbleheads and the rock cat will go in my booth. I picked up the drawer organizer. It's made out of bamboo and I've just got my spices laid out here in a drawer and really you can put anything you want but it's such a great organizer for the kitchen or even in your craft room. That's all I picked up during this trip to Broad River Goodwill. Thanks so much for coming along with me. If you enjoy this type of content, I would love it if you would like this video. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Tell me what you like the best in this video. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.